Assalamu alaikum children welcome to the science class for the grade 4 today we are con we are going to continue our first lesson that is plants the producers before going to start our part 2 let's recall whatever we have learned in our earlier class so we have learned the parts of a leaf yes children parts of a leaf the broad part is called lamina and the many tube like structures called veins and the middle uh, middle line is known as midrib and the veins that is branching out from the midrib is known as side veins and the tip of the uh, leaf is known as leaf apex and at last the part that is uh, this one the part that is attached to the stem of the branch is known as leaf stalk this is nothing but a parts of a leaf next we have seen that uh, leaves are having the small uh, structures that is nothing but the stomata yes small holes on the leaves that is nothing but the stomata and we have seen that how plants can prepare their own food by using carbon dioxide water and minerals uh, from the roots uh, and sunlight in the presence of uh, chlorophyll and sunlight the plants prepare their own food and they give rise to food and oxygen and water vapor then we have done this experiment yes now in this video in today's video we'll learn about how the food is stored in plants as you all know children where do we keep our extra food where do we keep our extra food yes in refrigerator so plants also keep their extra food in some parts of the plant okay let's see what are those parts and what we will eat all those okay let's begin here the question arises here what happens to the food made by plants so as the plants are preparing the food in our earlier uh, earlier class we have learned uh, during the photosynthesis plants prepare the food yes as the plants uh, need food to grow and live they store some of the food for future use this extra food is stored in different parts of a plant such as what are the parts that the plant stores the food that is leaves in roots stem fruits and seeds these are the parts where plants will store the food okay the plants in the food in plants is stored in the form of starch so this food is stored in the form of starch starch is nothing but Starch is a tasteless white substance that is obtained from potatoes or cereals. Okay, so what we'll do? We will eat such parts of various plants. How we will eat? Let's see. Okay, here an experiment have been given. We can check whether food is stored in a part of a plant by testing the presence of starch. How we can know whether in that uh, part of a leaf or otherwise part of any plant uh, that uh, starch is present? How we can know? We can know by adding a few drops of iodine solution. Okay, we have to add the iodine solution. When iodine comes in contact with starch, then that it becomes which color? Blue and black. It turns into blue-black color. Now to understand this, we have to observe this activity. Okay, let us observe this through an activity. Here activity have been given. What is our, let's begin what is our aim we have to know that to test whether green leaves contain starch in leaves starch will be present or not that we have to know by uh, doing this activity we'll conclude that one okay now what are the materials required first we have to take green leaf water alcohol two beakers as you can see here two beakers and bunsen burner bunsen burner this one okay iodine and test tube holder this is the test tube holder this is the test tube these two are beakers burns and burner this is the test tube holder now what is the method first you have to take the green leaf first you have to take the green leaf and put it in the boiling water as you can see fire is the burns and burner is it is okay so the water is boiling so what we have to do take a green leaf and put it in the boiling water for few minutes now take out that leaf and put it in a test tube containing alcohol this test tube in this what you have to keep that leaf you have to put it in this 
and in that test tube what should be there alcohol place the test tube in the beaker containing boiling c1 mole boiling water for a few minutes now after that what you have to do take out the leaf and wash it in the cold water you have to take out it and wash it in the cold water uh, then add a few drops of iodine on the leaf yes after adding iodine on the leaf what happened what do you will see you will see that leaf turns blue black after adding the iodine okay from this what you have understood that when iodine is added to starch it turns which color blue black remember everyone when iodine is added to the starch what it becomes which color turns into first green it was green in color yes then again it changes into the leaf changes into blue and black this indicates that green leaf contains starch so it means in the leaf starch will be present okay food is food is stored in this leaf next one is potato as you all know yes we use it in many dishes you have to perform this activity to observe if it contains food so to know that it contains the food you have to do this activity so what is the uh, aim here to find out if po potato contains starch so in potato starch is there or not okay and what are the things required a slice of potato as you can see here okay and liquid iodine what is the method put the slice on a potato of potato on a plate as you can see see boy boy is taking that one put the slice of potato on a plate add a few drops of iodine on the potato see now can you see the color changes yes of potato which color it becomes what is the color of this slice of the potato it will be blue black yes or no how you can say because it as we are pouring as we are keeping the iodine solution on that so it changes into blue black from this what you have understood that potato is having starch in it understood hope you have understood this two experiment now let's see some examples of parts of a picture you can see carrot radish turnip these are the parts of a plant where it's a it's nothing but the roots okay this will be grown in the roots now that only the food is stored in the roots and we we will use we will eat this vegetables yes carrot radish and turnip it is uh, stored in the root now the food that is stored in the stem are sugarcane lotus stem potato other uh, and ginger also yes so we will eat this stems also like sugarcane we will eat no it is nothing but a stem so food is stored in the form of stem food is stored in the form of starch here in the stem yes now plants store the food in the leaves yes like uh, spinach cabbage coriander mint fenugreek we will eat those yes next the plants store the food in the form in fruits as you all know mango apple banana guava orange and papaya next it stores the food in the seed in the form of seed yes like chickpeas peas rice pearl millet corn lentils and pulses also yes or no so these are the parts of a leaf and the examples where plants can store the food okay plant stores the food in the root in the form of in the form of starch yes roots stem leaves fro fruits as well as flowers also like cauliflower will eat no that one uh, seeds hope you have understood this if you have doubt you can ask me in the online class we'll continue this one in our next video till that time uh, just revise and understand it Take care. Bye-bye.